Recall actors who started as antagonists, but switched to positive characters effortlessly. Several decades ago, Vinod Khanna and Shatran Sinha portrayed negative roles at the onset of their respective careers. Much later, Shah Rukh Khan acted in a series of career-defining grey characters, before he got labelled as the romantic icon of Hindi cinema. Now Vidyat Jamwal, who made his debut with Force, undergoes an image makeover with Commando. He's cast as the conventional Hindi film hero after acting in Force and a couple of South Indian films as Villain. He fights an army of baddies single-handedly in Commando. Also romances the heroine in his second Hindi outing. Dot, dot. Commando is expected to change the action landscape of Bollywood, with Vidyat partaking in never witnessed before action sequences, hand-to-hand -hand combat, mid-air splits and somersaults, extreme acrobatics AL, all done without body double or cables, but by the actor himself. In that respect, Commando takes action in Hindi movies to another level. The skeptics may argue, we have seen it all in movies starring Tony Jaa, but Commando is, perhaps, the first Hindi movie that attempts to showcase a series of death-defying, high-octane stunts performed by the lead man himself. Naturally, Vidyat is being peddled as the new action hero of Bollywood. Karanveer Dogra Vidyat Jamwal, a commando with the Indian Army, crashes into the Chinese territory. After being detained for a year in China and labeled an Indian spy, Karen escapes from the Chinese side and crosses into Himachal Pradesh. As Karen crosses into Punjab, India, he runs into Simrit Puja Chopra, who is escaping from Amrit aka AK-47's Jaidi Palawat goons. Amrit wants to forcibly marry Simrit. Karen bashes up the goons and in turn, invites the ire of Amrit. Together, Karen and Simrit escape into the jungles, when cornered by Amrit and his cronies. Thus begins a cat and mouse game between Amrit and Karen in the deep forests. Director Dilip Ghosh stays true to the essence of the premise and promises never witnessed before action in Commando. Having said that, I wish to add that Commando isn't a film that merely celebrates action or attempts to portray Vidyut's expertise in martial arts. Also integrated is a subtle love story, besides drama of course. In addition, the makers punctuate the mandatory songs to spice things up. But its biggest strength is, without an iota of doubt, the action sequences, especially the ones while on the run in the jungles. Commando attempts to encompass every stunt possible to entice the Indian viewer, which Vidyat implements as dexterously and effortlessly as Tony Jaa or Johnny Trina win. Nonetheless, films that focus on chase and action should stick to the core issue, hence the romance between the lead pair, in the first half of the film, the mandatory songs, especially the one filmed in Kutch, again the first hour, and the political interference, in the second hour, appear completely forced in the scheme of things. But these shortcomings are pardonable, to a large extent, for the reason that the action sequences keep you mesmerized largely. The drama has its moments, especially when the cat and mouse game begins. The sequences in the jungle, which forms a major chunk of the movie, and the good versus bad altercations and confrontations are attention-grabbing. Also, the writer Ritesh Shah knows that the closing moments ought to give the viewer a high in a film of this genre and he serves it most convincingly. The concluding moments, when Vidyat is attacked by a South African slayer at the behest of Jaideep, right till Jaideep's elimination, leave you awestruck. The soundtrack Manan Shah is perfect, but amalgamating the songs with the chase sequences didn't really work for me. However, the raunchy song filmed in the second hour seems most appropriate vis a vis its placement. The Dop Sejal Shah is the behind the scenes star of the Enterprise. He captures the opaque terrain marvelously on celluloid. The stunts action, as highlighted earlier, are ear -ear top notch. The pacing too is swift, except when the songs show up. The background score Prasad Sashed captures the mood of the movie fruitfully when the characters embark on the chase. Commando clearly belongs to Vidyat and the liberty of watching him crushing everything and everyone in sight leaves you tongue-tied. By doing the stunts without a body double or cables, he fits into the definition of India's next-gen action hero without a hitch. He's a fine actor too, although it's the action that takes precedence over histrionics here. Pooja Chopra couldn't have asked for a better launch pad. Sure, Commando is, at heart, an action fair, but as the reels unfold, you realize her role in the film has shades that are essential for a Hindi film heroine and Pooja gives it her best shot. She's photogenic, but most significantly, comes across as a poised and self-assured actress. 
Jai Deep Alawat delivers an unparalleled performance, yet again. He's one of the finest talents around and even though he plays the conventional baddie, he will be recalled in the same breath as the protagonist of the film. Darshan Jarawala is alright in a cameo. On the whole, Commando is vintage good versus evil saga in a strikingly new avatar. A high-voltage action fare that's racy, pulsating and packed with some adrenaline-pumping stunts. Watch it.